famous adventurer Mason and James and his sister speed through the city in a desperate embrace with extreme stakes. First car to the stadium gets an extra slice of pizza, Mason James. You mean an extra slice of the world's largest pizza? It's the city of Matchbox's 70th anniversary. And it's celebrating by breaking the record for the world's largest pizza. There's the stadium! Yes! I win! Uh, Mason? Where's the super big pizza? I don't know, but the whole city will be showing up soon expecting a lot of pizza. We better find out what's going on. Whoa. I love the smell of pizza. And that is one huge pizza pie. Mason James, thank goodness you're here. I made the world's largest pizza, but I forgot that I would also need the world's largest pizza delivery vehicle. Don't worry. We can do anything if we all work together. If the pizza is not in the stadium in the next 30 minutes, we won't get the world record. And that crowd is getting hungry. I can hear them from here. I got it. With a pizza this big, we need to think big. Follow me, sis. Of course. These big machines can move anything. Yep, and we can use our even bigger Matchbox Excavator to get all those big machines to that pizza pie in no time. Let's load it up. Here comes the bulldozer. Loading the bulldozer. Here comes the turf hauler. Loading the turf hauler. Here comes the road grader. Wow, that's a lot of construction vehicles, Mason James. You can never have too many. Let's roll. The world's biggest pizza, meet the world's biggest excavator. Mason, stop! The pizza is sliding! Whoa! We have to keep the pizza perfectly level while we move it. Sounds like we need some teamwork. Sure is a good thing that we brought all these heavy-duty construction vehicles. Make way for the bulldozer! Did someone order a large turf hauler? You can't have a pizza party without a sturdy road grader. But there will be no party if we can't get this pizza to the stadium fast. All right, team. We have to work together and fast. There is no room for error. When I say, drive to your places as quickly and precisely as possible. Hold it steady, Mason James. Easy. Wait for it. Almost. Go, go, go! Yes! It worked! All right, team, start your engines. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> All right, Kayla, that was the easy part. Now you have to lead them through the city as fast as possible. I'm gonna make sure we can get this thing into the stadium. How can I help? You gotta convince the mayor and everyone at the stadium to hang tight and the world's largest pizza is on its way. Oh, boy. Okay, team, let's go. Get ready, team. Left turn now. And right turn now. Whoa, the other right. Oh no, the pizza! Ugh, got it. <gasps> Overpass. Break. Now go, 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 go! Almost there. Yes. Floor it. But there's no way to get the pizza into the stadium. Looks like we won't get that world record after all. Oh, yes, we will. This giant crane always delivers. Okay, who ordered the extra, extra, extra large pizza? Oh, that's a big pizza. That pepperoni's bigger than me. We did it. Hey, Mason, join the party. Express exit. Look out below. Great job, Mason James. Thanks to our teamwork, the city of Matchbox now holds the record for the world's largest pizza. Yes! <laughs> Too bad we didn't think about needing the world's largest drink. <laughs> <laughs> International adventurer Mason James wrestles with the gears of a helicopter.
helicopter. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Looks like I got an urgent delivery for that FedEx store. Ooh, that was close. Hello there, Mason James, sir. Got a package for you from your sister, Kayla. Whoa, cool. It's an ancient stone tablet. Come in, Mason James. You there, bro? I'm here, sis. This stone tablet you sent me is really cool. Is that a map? You guessed it, Mason James. You need to use that map to find three hidden golden medallions as fast as you can. The whole world could be in danger. I'm on a remote island with a mega volcano that could blow at any moment. The only way to stop it is to find those medallions and bring them to me. I'm on my way, sis. No problem. Actually, one problem. The helicopter's out of fuel. This mission just got a lot harder. The world needs you. Uh, you've got to find a way to deliver those medallions. Delivery, huh? I need something for delivering a delivery. Hmm. No. Wait a minute. Yes! Mason James uses the coordinates on the map as he races towards the first medallion. Let's hope this truck can deliver speed. Whoa, this river is huge. It'll take me forever to drive around it. Aha, if I can get to the ferry port before the ferry leaves, that could take me across the river. Mason James, the volcanologists are saying this mega volcano could devastate the entire planet. Do you have the first medallion? I'm having trouble finding the exact coordinates. Uh-oh, something is under the boat and it's gonna tip us over. It's a giant anaconda that looks just like the snake symbol on the stone tablet. Follow that snake. Watch out. Why would that snake lead us here? Wait, there's something up there. I think a little bump from this fairy will do it. Got it! I've got the first medallion, sis, and I'm heading to the next coordinates on the map. Great job, Mason James. Keep it up. Uh-oh. According to the map, this should take me right to... Whoa! Whew, that was close. Hey, those giant stones have symbols on them. A square, a triangle, a circle, and a diamond. The next medallion is supposed to have a diamond on it. I got it! It's a giant puzzle! But those stones are way too big to move. Or are they? Mason James expertly maneuvers the bulldozer to turn the giant stones. One more turn should do it. Uh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. It's the next medallion. Woohoo! I got the second medallion. Just one more to go. And it looks like the third medallion is in Australia. I'm headed down. There's no time, Mason James. You'll never make it to Australia and get here in time to stop this volcano. Yikes! Then I'll head your way with two. And I've got a wild idea for how to get the third medallion. It isn't my old rival, Mason James. Ha <laughs> ha Emerson Felix, the infamous rival of world famous adventurer Mason James, enjoys a joy ride in her Land Rover on the Gold Coast in Australia. Why can't I find any gold? Well, well, well. If it isn't my old rival, Mason James. 
Macy James drives down a highway in France. No time to chit chat, Emerson. I know you're in Australia and I need your help. Sorry, Mason James. I'm too busy. Say, do you happen to know where the gold is on the Gold Coast? Emerson, the Gold Coast refers to the beautiful golds and beaches. Oh. Listen, there's a secret medallion with a kangaroo on it hidden in Australia. If you don't help me find it, a mega volcano is going to erupt that could spread ash and lava all over the Earth. I do like medallions. And saving the world sounds pretty important too, I suppose. I'll help. Send me the coordinates to that medallion. This just might work. I better check in with Kayla. Kayla, how is the mega volcano doing? We've gotten all the people off the island, but this thing could blow at any moment. I don't think you have time to get the third medallion. Don't worry. Emerson Felix is in Australia right now looking for it. Emerson Felix? She can't be trusted. She might pull one of her tricks. This mission is too important. She'll come through. We've got to trust her. Ugh, my St. James, there's nothing out here. Emerson Felix tears through the outback searching for the kangaroo medallion. It's a wild goose chase. Hey, there's a wild goose. Oh, no, that's a menu. Yikes! This better be one special medallion. Mason James races to the ferry boat. Emerson, have you found the medallion? I'm at the coordinates, Mason James. But there are no kangaroos or medallions in sight. Just rocks, rocks, and more rocks. Trust me, it's there. There must be some sort of puzzle to finding it. Try a new perspective. Look at things differently. Aha! This is crazy, Mason James. How is moving my Land Rover around on this bridge going to help me find a... Oh, what? Hey! A kangaroo! It's a kangaroo! I found the kangaroo! I did it! I'm the best treasure hunter ever! Emerson! Emerson! Emerson, do you see the medallion? Ow! Something is glaring in my eyes. Ooh. Yes, there's a shiny gold medallion in the eye of the kangaroo. Awesome! Now, please get that medallion to the mega volcano as fast as possible. On it! <laughs> Hurry, Mason James! Time is almost out! Glory! Ba, ba, hmm. What took you so long, Mason James? Emerson, you made it! Let's go! Follow me! There's not a second to lose! We have to place the snake medallion, the diamond medallion, and the kangaroo medallion in the stone slab now! We don't need to use all three medallions. Perhaps I can just keep this one. It's okay, Kayla. Uh, I mean, Emerson Felix. <sighs> it's tough saying goodbye to your treasures, but if it helps the world, you can do it. We, we did, did it! Um, Mason James, why is the ground getting hotter? We may have saved the world, but the caves below the mega volcano are filling up with lava. Let's get off this island. Floor it. As he races to escape the island, Mason James gets an urgent message from Venice. The mission isn't quite over yet. This truck has a package in it that has to be delivered to this car wash. After saving the world, I think we all earned a super clean car wash. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Mason, Kayla, come on, kids. The moving truck's here. Say, do you think we'll ever see those golden medallions again? You never know, Emerson. Just like us, they're off on their next great adventure. Mason James, the world-famous explorer, is in a race against time to find the legendary treasure before it's lost to the jungle's volcano. Miles of dangerous
dangerous jungle and... Big yikes! The Mount Kala Volcano! Another couple minutes, and this whole valley could be on fire! Come on, Quester! Give me some juice! Switchbacks are tricky. Extra traction drive. Now! Oh yeah! Perfect landing! Now, let's get that treasure. Loose rock! Watch out! Out. It's not on the GPS. Must have washed out in the rain. Too steep to drive. Gonna winch it. One good swing. Now we'll let the engine pull us up. Adventure, something with a little more speed, but that can handle the heat. Sure thing, Mason James. <laughs> Mason James, you will explore. Hey, gang, brought you a little something. Is that a new truck? Always looking out for our local heroes. That's the coolest. Let's check those ladders. No time for that now. We've got a fire! <laughs> Looks like the smoke's coming from the central bank tower. Floor it! Good job. 
I think we all deserve a little firehouse chili. Attention all units! There's a forest wildfire that's spreading out of control. We need every emergency vehicle we can spare. Looks like the chili will have to wait. We gotta call in everyone we can. There's a new mission. Mason James, world explorer, cuts across Florida's famous alligator alley on his way to the Everglades in search of the legendary one-eyed colossal alligator, Wen. looking for the legendary one-eyed colossal. What the? I can't believe it. The legendary one-eyed colossal, uh, blue alligator. The legends never cease to surprise me. Mason, have you seen my blue squeaky alligator? I haven't, but I think Mason James has. Well, can Mason James airlift him over here? He needs to get to the emergency vet. Stop! This search just turned into a rescue. Come on, Gator. Let's get you some help. Paris Tower. Paris Tower. This is Air Pierre Flight 175. I am making the final approach, but I have no visual. Repeat, I have no visual on the runway. Roger that, 175. We've got a blackout down here. Well, we've got a wild storm beginning up here, and I've got to put this bird down. We copy, 175. We are trying to get the runway lights back on. Negative, Paris Tower. With this storm, we need to make an emergency landing now. We need those lights on. You must find some way, or something, or someone! Flight 175, it's Mason James. <gasps> Mason James, adventurer extraordinaire? What are you doing here? I'll tell you over at Cafe Olay after your death. How can I help? Hmm, you could get those runway lights on. Sorry, 175. The Paris power plant shut down. Not S -s -s sorry as I am. If I can't find the airport soon, I don't know where I will end up landing this thing. Hang on. I've got an idea. <laughs> Risky, but if you can fly low enough to see my headlights, I 
can lead you to the runway. That is crazy! How can you drive fast enough? Easy. I'm Ace James. If you say so. Here we come! Can you see me? 175? for thanks. Anytime. Let's celebrate! Some other time, I'm afraid. The next adventure awaits. Phew! That's enough stormy adventures to last me a lifetime. I was thinking maybe somewhere warmer. You deserve some peace and quiet. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. Mason James, world famous explorer, finds himself in another tricky situation. As he races across the desert. Chased by the evil agent, Elena Crabtree. Code name? The teacher. Give up, Mason James. The clock is counting down. You'll never deliver those top secret documents in time. Think you can stop me, Crabtree? Watch me. I can outdrive you anytime, anywhere. Ha ha ha! That's what you think. Oh no! The columns! <laughs> Here goes nothing. Yes! Nice try, Crabtree. Ah, uh, you fools! Now I'm the one who's stuck. But Mason James isn't home free yet. Almost there! Or almost out of fuel! Just my luck, a fuel station. Time for a recharge, and I've got a craving for some snacks and stale coffee. Meanwhile, back at the temple, evil agent Crabtree's men have almost cleared the road. It's about time! I'll catch you, Mason James! Meanwhile... Ha ha ha! They have those little packets of sunflower seeds. Ha ha ha! I've got you now! What? <laughs> Out of fuel? Refueled and ready to go. Now, let's get those top secret documents delivered. I'll get you someday, Mason James! Snacks ready, kids. Well, if Mason's homework is done... Just sent it to Mrs. Crabtree. Let's go grab some snacks. Guess everybody's got a refuel. Kayla, let's get some extra snacks. We've got a lot of training to do. Can't race in the Matchbox 5000 on an empty stomach. Ladies and gentlemen, drivers from all over the world are lined up at the starting line for the 100th annual Le Matchbox 5000. A multi-day, transcontinental, 5,000-kilometer race across every kind of terrain. Dangerous switchback roads, steep mountains and volcanic plateaus, and finally through the brutal desert to the finish line in Dakar. All the racers are ready, including Mason James, looking speedy in his BMW i8. And they're off. The crowd goes wild. Yeah! Woohoo! World of 
adventurer Mason James is right in the thick of it. And they'd all better look out for Englishman Freddie Hampton and his banana car? <laughs> That's right, folks. Any racers who want to prove themselves are putting it on the line. Anything goes in Le Matchbox 5000. No rules in this road race. Oh, no! Hampton's banana car jumped the curb and crashed. It looks like Freddie Hampton is okay, but the banana car might be bananas flambe. The fire department's on the way to put out the fire and make sure he's safe. The other drivers wave as they zoom past. See ya! Bye-bye! Has to remember! The Matchbox 5000 is brutal. Rain, shine, and no scheduled pit stops. Day five, Mason James is a quarter mile ahead in the race. I'm not sure anyone can beat James now. Flat tire. Where am I gonna find a replacement out here? Come in, Mason James. Over. French pilot? What are you doing here? Over. I was flying to Dakar to watch you win the Matchbox 5000, of course. Over. Well, I think I just lost the 5000. Unexpected flat tire. No way I'll be able to catch them on the road. It's over. Over. What about the mountain pass? I can see it from up here. Just past the wind farm to the east. A shortcut. That's thinking on the fly. If you have the right car for the mountains, that is. Hold on a sec. I think I might have just the car for something a little more rocky. Anything goes in La Matchbox 5000. Come on, Jeep. Let's show them what you can do. I don't believe it. Mason James having switched cars shows up out of nowhere just in time for... From near disaster to first place, what is next for the adventurer extraordinaire? There's always another adventure out there. Sometimes you just have to go looking for it.